This is a video user guide for the Oyen Digital Mini Pro RAID V3. We will begin by installing the hard drives for use in the Mini Pro RAID V3. First, remove the four screws from the Mini Pro RAID V3 and set them somewhere they will not be lost. Slide the bracket containing the circuit board out of the outer aluminum shell. Next, slide both SATA drives into the connectors. Carefully flip the bracket over. Attach the drives to the bracket using the screws contained in a small bag inside the box. For 9.5mm drives and smaller, use one hand to hold the drive close to the bracket while the screws are installed. It should be noted that the Mini Pro RAID V3 is compatible with SATA hard drives up to 15mm in height. Turn the bracket over and slide it back into the outer shell. Attach the bracket to the shell using the four screws that were removed earlier. In this next section, we will connect the Mini Pro RAID V3 to the computer. There are two cables included with the Mini Pro RAID V3. There is a standard USB-C type cable, as well as a USB-C type to USB-A type cable. Use whichever one your computer has a port to accommodate. Note that both cables are compatible with both USB 3.1 and USB 3.0 connection ports. Also, Apple's Thunderbolt 3 cable will not work properly with the Mini Pro RAID V3. Please use the included USB-C type cable. It should also be noted that Apple's Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter is not compatible with the Mini Pro RAID V3. If you are connected to a USB 3.0 port and wish to utilize both drive slots, you will need to connect to an external power source. Make sure that the DC slash USB switch is set to DC and use the included power adapter to connect to a power source. It is crucial that the DC slash USB switch is set correctly when powering on the unit, so verify that the correct option is chosen before turning on the Mini Pro RAID V3. In this section, we will set the mode on the Mini Pro RAID V3. Power on the unit using the switch on the back of the Mini Pro RAID V3. On the back of the Mini Pro RAID V3, there are two small switches that are used to indicate the mode that the unit will run in. Place the switches in the desired position. Details on each mode can be found in the Mini Pro RAID V3's printed instruction manual that is included with the product. Once the switches are properly set, use the included screwdriver to hold down the set button for 5 seconds. Release the set button and the mode will now be set. Format the drive or drives using your operating system and the unit will be fully ready for use. If you would like to switch between modes, Please return the switches to the clear position and repeat this procedure before setting the new mode type. Please note that switching modes will erase all data from the drives, so back up any data that you do not want to lose before performing this operation. Each drive's LED light will flicker when that drive is being read or written to. A red light indicates that an error has occurred or no drive is installed in the slot. In this last section, we will take a look at some of the performance differences between drive and connection types. Utilizing solid state drives will provide better speed performance than traditional hard drives. On top is a test performed with traditional hard drives in a RAID 0 configuration, connected via USB 3.0. Below, the drives are replaced with solid state drives and are still connected via USB 3.0. You can clearly see that the solid state drives provide a significant boost in speed performance. 
Installing solid state drives in the Mini Pro RAID V3 and connecting to a USB 3.1 port as opposed to a USB 3.0 port can also increase performance. On top is a speed test performed with solid state drives connected to a computer via USB 3.0. Below, the Mini Pro RAID V3 is connected to a computer via USB 3.1 and is also set to a RAID 0 configuration. You can clearly see that the USB 3.1 connection provides the fastest performance of the two types. Thank you for watching. You can check out our line of high performance storage solutions and contact us at oyendigital.com.